Do you guys remember the whole fiasco with the Final Fantasy Pixel remaster situation? What was this, published December 19th, 2022? When they, they put up this uh, Pixel remaster physical edition for both the Nintendo Switch and the PS4, they, they put up these editions. They had the standard edition and the collector's edition. They put it up in the middle of the night with no heads up. Everything sold out. It was ridiculous. A lot of people who wanted this stuff couldn't get their hands on it. But, you know, not you know, all hope was not lost, right? Because then there was this Asian release and people were like, hey, sweet. Lost out on, you know, the copies that were available on the Square Enix store. But can get these uh you know versions off of play asia or wherever import them and get a ps4 or switch copy right i did videos on the switch copies because i did wind up getting you know one from the the square enix store for the nintendo switch i was going to get a ps4 copy because because i was like you know what it would be nice you know have it for the ps4 but screw it like all the games that are on here they were on nintendo so it was like i'll get the switch copy but a lot of people wanted it for the playstation and it, they had pre-orders up on PlayAsia and whatnot. But then over time, it, it got canceled. They were like, yeah, they're not going to produce them. It was like, what the heck? So a lot of people lost out. It, it was it freaking sucked. It sucked. So yeah, there was Switch copies that you could get, Asian release, that were exactly identical to the North American copies that were exclusive to the Square Enix store. And it was like the North American copies, the PS4, and the Switch, you know, the Switch copies, it, it was like, does Square hate money? It was like, obviously they do, right? Because I, I looked up, like, Square, they've been losing money. We've talked about this a little bit. But, you know, the content abandonment thing, we talked about that. How, you know, they lost a bunch of money. And then they lost $2 billion in value since Final Fantasy sixteen, And a part of it was, like, the exclusivity deals and stuff like that with PlayStation. And, and, and just not going multi-platform not just with Xbox, but not releasing stuff on PC as well. So Square's been kind of floundering some stuff, right? They, they've been they've been screwing up. I, I like Square. I like a lot of their games. I like Final Fantasy. I like you know Secret of Mana and stuff like that. But man, people they they've been soured. They wanted this for the PS4, a physical copy. You can get a digital copy. It's an expensive game though. So you know, finally, finally, and I think it's due to like some of this. Like Square's just like. We can't be we can't be leaving money on the table, right? We can't be leaving money on the table. So they just announced today. Uh, don't let these Peggy logos uh, trip you up because th they're not just being released in Europe. They're being released everywhere. But the Final Fantasy Pixel Remaster Collection Anniversary Edition pre-orders are live for shipping in freaking October. I think like October 8th, the day before my birthday. So that's nice. But... PS4 and Switch copies, and there are pre-orders available in numerous places. At first, it was just on the Square Enix store. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you, if it's not exclusive to the Square Enix store, man, their shipping is ridiculous, dude. If you pre-order this in the Square Enix store, it doesn't matter if it's Switch or PS4 copy. The cheapest shipping is ten dollars, and then with tax, you're paying ninety dollars because this seventy-five dollar game. It's always been a seventy-five dollar game as far as the uh, physical copy. When it first went up. Initially, just standard edition, it was 75 bucks. But now you're getting a freaking sticker sheet. You guys know how I feel about stickers. They should have, like, see how they're circles? They should have just made pogs, dude. I would have appreciated pogs more than I would have appreciated stickers. They could have gave me, like, all these as pogs. And then this pixel remaster thing in the middle, they could have made that a nice-ass slammer, dude. All about that pog life. 12 memorable Final Fantasy character pogs. That's what they should have done. That's what they should have done. But it, this cover right here, they straight up butchered this freaking cover. Anniversary edition. <sighs> they So this is what the cover is going to look like. But, okay, we have some exciting news. For those that have been asking for new physical editions to the Pixel Remaster games, they're on their way. October 8th, they're coming. Read on. We'll tell you about what's new. Uh what you know all about the games in the new physical edition there's nothing new there's nothing new i don't think they've added anything new it's just that you get the sticker sheet 
So the Pixel Ma- Master uh, remaster versions include the the classic games have some features, change soundtracks, change fonts. That was one thing is with the introduction of the uh, console versions of the games, they came included where you could change those fonts to the the better fonts. Where with the Steam versions, you know, people figured out ways to do that early on, but they built that into this where you had the nicer fonts and all that. Turn off random encounters so you could just like I, I guess I, I haven't done that at all, but that's nice. But you can adjust a bunch of things. Boost, you know, gain experience four times. You could cheat. You could cheat. You could be a cheating bastard. However you want to play the game, it doesn't freaking matter to me. But it, it's cool. So you get the, the six Final Fantasy games in the physical edition. These are available to pre-order right now on... um. Okay, so it is available on Amazon first off. So they do have the PS4 version which is available, shipping, you know, October 8th. And then also the Switch version is a different listing. I'll have these um, both listed uh, for you to check out, but the Switch version hasn't gone live yet. It may be live when I put this uh, video up. I don't know. But, okay, the Amazon listings are up. Just Switch one hasn't been available yet. So that's an option. Amazon or Square Enix store. Square Enix store is ten dollars, the cheapest to ship. I think the next option was like thirty bucks or something. Like thirty dollars to ship a, a game? You're out of your mind. Then the next option that I found so far is Best Buy. So here you get a closer look at the the actual box art. So here, here look. I mean, this is the original that shipped from the Square Enix store, the original U.S. version or North American version. They man, they messed up that cover. So it's like okay, they had to put like in French, I guess, because you know this copy is going to Canada as well. So anniversary edition in French and in English on the front with that little badge there, and then the original version had the Pixel Remaster logo on the top. This new one doesn't. I, I don't know. This looks better to me, but uh, you know it, it is what it is, dude. Wh- whatever. I just, I don't like this little badge they put right here. It's kind of goofy, but, you know, whatever. And I guess, like, the ESRB, they have to have it in French and English. Like, on this one, it's not in French and English. I don't know. Whatever, man. But it's it just, it looks more, I don't, it just doesn't look as clean to me, this new cover. Nothing's changed with the game. It's just a different cover. And then here's the PS4 version. You could pre-order either or, you know pick up or shipping so there you go but yeah i just wanted to share this with you guys it's good news especially for ps4 fans or you know people want physical copy for the playstation so let me know what you guys think really do appreciate y'all thanks for watching just giving the heads up bye